All right, so the big changes here, no ley line of combustion, giving Squee an extra run, extra Chandra Dress to kill. And I think that's about the only big changes from Scruggs list. We're gonna stay at 22 lands. It should work. I think we were really unlucky last league. Let's play, let's go. We gotta, we gotta impersonate someone else on Magic Online. Everyone knows our avatar now, knows our name. I need to, I need to be Fluffy Wolf with the letter E at the end. That'll confuse everyone. That'll, that'll confuse everyone. Change the avatar. No one will be able to recognize us. We'll go under the radar. We'll Blood Moon him on turn twos with uh, Ragavan. See how easy that is? Easy, 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 easy. That's all you gotta do. Maybe one day we'll make a new account and we'll see how many people we can Blood Moon on turn like two and just go like hyper prison. No one will fetch basics. We'll, we'll do it like, we'll name we'll name the account. I don't know, we need to name it something that doesn't link it to red. All right, perfect. Perfect. Oh, and you know what? We're gonna keep the one lander. We're gonna keep the one lander. No one, no one expects us. We're not Fluffy Wolf 2 anymore. We're we're Evan or Everos or Avaros. We're Avaros. Avaros. That's my name. Overgrown tomb. Watch him. Watch him. Thought sees this blood moon away. Thought sees. All right. Okay. Don't worry. I'm gonna I'm gonna offer up the trade. Offer the trade. There went my slipper. Yeah, I'm avocado toast. That's who I am. I'm gr I'm great avocado toast. All right. Hopefully our fury is a lot better here. My opponent only has two mana right now. I'm hoping that I can fury boom boom win game. Perfect. Games won. Last God's crying. No. Dang it. Uh, crap. They played another creature. Uh, I was going to say, you're the Yawgmoth person. Whenever Yawgmoth shows up and I'm able to blood moon him, I, uh, I poke fun at you a little bit. I guess I fury away the young wolf and the no ignoble and hope they don't block with gilded goose here and blood moon them. And they get one turn with green mana. One measly turn. Look at that. Good old Geralt's messenger. Anyway, that, you know, I whenever we find an Abzan person, which is rare, that's why I always have to play Siege Rhino. We give KO grief. When there's a blue mage or we do something with blue cards, we uh, mention Evan. Taxes, we could probably start naming Spider, but I I just, I think, I think of all of us, even myself included, because I'll poke fun at Fluffy myself. Um, we all know that Spider is the genius. Man, do I need to just like, I need to just go to bed and like try to wake up on the wrong side of the bed tomorrow morning. Did I did I really pitch a blood moon and then they just did this to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Torp Brant, go. Torp Brant, go. Sometimes you play Seedrino in Abzan list. Of course. Seedrino is the best. Seedrino is the best. I thought about pitching that Eidolon to the Fury, but I figured Eidolon might be a good follow-up. I'm going to risk a little bit here by... Well, I'm not risking much by not attacking. It's just a strangle root. 
what could it do? Evolution into Yawgmoth? I mean, who does that? Oh. That looks like evolution. Luckily, Torbran is not a human. It's a noble. Oh, Grist is really good here. Grist could kill Torbran. Sacrifice. Target. Make a 3-2. Undying. Goodbye, Torbran. Didn't do much there, that's for sure. I'm going to Ragavan Grist. I believe if that starts making stuff, it's a problem. They'll probably just block with Gilded Goose here. Oh, we get the Strangle Root. I'll, I'll take that. It's not too bad for us. Play our Eidolon. I'm gonna pass turn. They don't have much that makes me discard. Hide that I drew a land for now. Okay, they get rid of a Yava. Well, they don't get rid of, I guess they mill over a Yava Maya. Top deck Fury here kills Gilded and uh, Grist. That would be pretty tasty. Opponent does nothing here. Probably a cord in hand. Season Pyromancer's okay. Take two. Okay. That's a that's a good card. I think I just I think I attack here with the Eidolon, threatening Grist. One two three one two. See if they cord or if they defend this. They might even be using like Gilded Goose here. So they lose an insect token here. And then main phase two. Go ahead and Grist, take a little bit of damage. Cord for one's the maximum they can do here now. I like that, that was a good turn. Kill Grist, do the things. Looks like they're still gonna Cord for one here. Makes a food token, that works too, that works too. Makes four mana now. I like where we're going here, doing okay. Chandra could kill Yogmoth if they play Yogmoth. Look at us with our with our noble sword. This is how Evan feels when he plays. He brings the justice. Is that is that the feeling that I'm getting here? Use the food token. Nope. Strangle root geist. Okay, they're down to ten. Yagamoth is pretty wild. There's a lot of lines. You could you could you could take a long time to learn Yagamoth. I mean Yagi Dog. That'd be cool. That would be pretty cool if they uh did something like that. All right. I wonder if I can Chandra and just like kill this young wolf and be pretty satisfied with that. Potentially not even worrying about Gilded Goose or Strangle Root Geist here. And if they attack, maybe even blocking with the Eidolon and then keeping Chandra alive here. Like, I think I'd rather have the Eidolon, but I like the Chandra, so... I'm gonna block. This also means Strangle Root guys can't just be evolutioned into a Yawgmoth, and uh, if I do top deck a Fury, I'm able to kill the Strangle Root a little bit easier. If they're evolutioning now, they should have pre-combat on Gilded Goose to kill the Chandra. Childred. Childridge. Imagine evolutioning into Childridge. That'd be pretty cool. 
Okay, they get a Grist here. I guess they sacrifice Gilded Goose and get rid of the Chandra. I then attack with the Season Power Mancer to kill Grist and play Bone Crusher Giant. Or play Bone Crusher Giant. Fury. All right, let's start there. Draw two fresh cards, attack, and then play something, probably. Bolt Strangle Root, attack two Season Pyromancer at Grist. And then we can play Torbrand next turn. That was a good, that was a good, good hand. A good one. Sometimes it's busted. Sometimes it's also just two lands, <laughs> which does nothing. Another Grist. This time they only can make it, make a creature. Okay. That looks good. Play Torbran. Attack. This time I send at them because we can pretty much make lethal pretty quickly here. They have to block. They go to six, play an Eidolon, pass turn. I feel like they've got to kill Torbran, but they need a creature out here somewhere too. Opponent's got the wrong stops. They keep blowing through main phase one. They cast anything. Eidolon does four to them. Looking pretty good. I can do two with the Raymanaut Ruins as well. We should have this one. Extra Raminaut guarantees this one. Nicely done, Fluffy. Nicely done. I'm going to block here. Endurance takes the four, pow. I think I got lucky there. I should have attacked with a brand as well. Okay. Because <clears throat> they could have blocked. But I guess probably not cast anything after that. All right. Do I try relics here? Could. I could. Have you been on any ley line of lately? Ah, uh, that was that was League One. We do play Combustion though. Get a squee in this matchup. Creatures getting through seems slightly unlikely. Let's get rid of Torbran. Let's get rid of one Ragavan. I wouldn't mind a Pillage. Yeah, it can be nuts. I think if you have a lot of burn in your meta, it's a it's a great card to be destroying people with. It can be a, a bit of a blank occasionally, but I think with the, the meta focusing on the battlefield, creatures, stuff like that, I think it's an okay, okay time to be rolling it. Bolt would be nice here. Ragavan would be nice. Land is accepted based on League One tonight. Blood Moon looking good, <laughs> if we draw it. My opponent kept a hand that's got all the Besages, apparently. <laughs> and I'm, I'm laughing because that's got to be it. Although they have six through their turn, so Yawgmoth not playing anything turn till turn three. That doesn't seem right. I don't, I don't know what's happening. I don't know what kind of hand you keep that, that does that. A grist hand, maybe? Okay. Can definitely get rid of the grist if I want to. I think we wait on the fury. Um, let's 
Since I'm able to wait on the Fury here, I'm going to take the extra damage, but get rid of the Grist and get rid of the token. Grist itself is, is a bit painful for us. And I've got two lands here. Maybe I don't even play Season Pyromancer, or play like Bone Crusher next turn and then play Fury. Fury is a good, could, I wouldn't say board wipe exactly, but. <laughs> Archon of Cruelty triggers the lost you a life. That's a, that's unusual, isn't it? Gosh, are they just all in on the Grist? I mean, what are they going to do? Yogmoth here? Their their first play of this game is Yogmoth. I'm going to play Season Pyromancer. Risk that I draw two more lands here. See what I draw. Going to pass the turn. I'm going to risk this here to either Fury away the rest of their board because they're going to naturally draw a red spell to pitch with Fury and then Blood Moon them. Or I'm going to get destroyed this turn. We'll find out. There's a Dryad. Okay. That's fine. Doesn't scare me that much. Sort of. It's a creature. Okay. Noble's fine. Nothing scary so far. They still have green mana up. Maybe they have Force of Vigor. Maybe this all in on the Blood Moon's a bad idea. Yeah, Blood Moon does seem okay, but maybe it's a bait. Maybe my opponent's just got a bunch of Force of Vigors in their hand. And I'm about to get got. Love this attack. Good attack, opponent. Good attack. 3-5. Swing in. You got it. Down to 11. The other thing is I can just hard cast Fury. That kind of seems great, too. Okay. We top deck a... <laughs> a land. All right. Am I just hard casting Fury? I mean, this is all they did. Send it. We'll get to Blood Moon later. It's a Crucible. Opponent sacrifices to hit Eidolon. Sacrifices the other one to hit Season Pyromancer. What if I was going to kill those two? Maybe I don't care about Yagi. Maybe I don't care about Yagi. Opponent did draw some cards there. Well, now I only have one target. Pow. You have a way to save this? In double black? They're going to discard and proliferate and kill my two creatures. Not bad. I haven't seen them use the proliferate card in a long time. This is a, this is a good one. I like that. Ooh, crime and punishment. Nice, nice. All right, I have an active Fury. They have an empty board. I got a Blood Moon coming. All right, all right. Good trades, good trades all around. My hope here is that they don't play something that gives them green, like that card, <laughs> or a creature. Yeah, most people forget that mode. I, I am one included in that forgetting of the proliferate. Are we just playing Yogmoth in round two? That's triple green. That's not Yogmoth mana. 
Triple green, one black. That's a young wolf. Young wolf into evolution for a three drop. Geralt's messenger. Racist. <laughs> Maybe something to block Fury. Fury has double strike. Gets Grist. That would kill Fury. That would kill Fury. Decides to make a creature. Okay. Okay. This turn is probably Blood Moon Bone Crusher would be my gut feeling with an attack at Grist here. And I say attack at Grist so that my opponent has less creatures here. They're they're easily chump blocking with like insect token here. Okay. So then we'll just jam Bone Crusher and I'll put a Blood Moon into play. Fetch your green source opponent. Fetch away. Then we have Crucible. We've got some attacking. They can down tick to kill one of these. Good board state. Hard for them to get another Yawgmoth into play. Feels okay. All right. Wall of Roots, not a bad one. That blocks Bone Crusher Giant very well. Doesn't block Fury very well. Makes another dude. We have five creatures in the yard. Let's pay attention to that. True. Makes double green. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. I'm trying to decide if it's better to season Pyromancer, not attack with those two, or attack with two... And if I'm just supposed to send them to them. Maybe Season Pyromancer is just better here and send everything at them. Try to end the game. Yep. Yep. I have no way to pump this. Which is a shame. Be great to get rid of that wall of roots. Double green, my opponent has. What are they going to do with double green? It's a great, great example where another fury would be pretty good. Uh, we only have two in this version. Didn't didn't put the third. Wall of Roots makes green. We've got ourselves a Bayloth. Hmm. Gain four. Okay. The race is not so on anymore. <laughs> the race is not so on. They could Bayloth Young Wolf block here. Chandra down tick on the Bayloth would be nice. On the Wall of Roots, they go up, make a dude. Opponent smart, no attacks. We uh, elemental token. Eidolon. Okay. I think I still Fury and Bone Crusher at them. We can Sokins in. I'm going to do that more defensively than offensively. Bayloth might block Fury here. Bayloth is willing to trade with Bone Crusher. Chump there. Okay. I'll take that trade. That keeps my Fury around. Does put an extra creature in the yard. Six creatures. Got to be aware of that for Grist. 
Goes down with Wall of Roots again, making double green. Strangle Root takes two. This is where I said about being a little more defensive. We might have to be a little more defensive here. I would kill Young Wolf here, but not... Oh, they go Strangle Ruth attacking or targeting killing Fury. Well, now I would just kill both Young Wolf and Strangle Root Geist if they were to attack with those. Let's use mana efficiently here. A Fury rips this person apart here. Torbrand could rip this person apart too. <laughs> Leave two spirit tokens back. Swing with a team here. Am I swinging at them? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Or am I going gristy? I think I go grist. So if they want to keep Grist around. Not blocking one of these means that Torbran stays alive here. Yeah, I wouldn't block this way, opponent. I wouldn't block this way because they're going to lose Wall of Roots and not take out the Eidolon. Oh, well. Could have sent two spirit tokens at the Grist here as well. But that trade looks really good for us. So we'll uh, just take it and carry on. We might get a concession here. There's nine in the yard. Yep, yep, yep. It's close. It's getting, getting sketchy. We'll see what happens. Deal, yep. Are they not going to plus Grist here? Grist right now is not at five. And I have a lot of creatures, so I shouldn't have to worry about the creatures in the yard. Opponent just concedes. We get there. That would make more creatures. Probably can handle Grist at that point. That would finish off Grist. I make four. I could send them all. This easily finishes it with Torbran. And then I think we can... Well, we don't get the best cards after, but probably getting there. 1-0. Woo. Haven't seen Squee yet. Well, I took Squee out. And I do agree with taking Squee out there. I don't think Squee's very good there. You always open them in their trash? We very, very, very rarely open chests here. Opening's more fun. Play points are eh. Occasionally, the, the cards that you can get are, are reasonably valuable. So yes, yeah, you open 30 chests and you get that one Ren and Six or Ragavan, you can get like 50 tickets or, you know, whatever it is when it's really expensive. That's all great and all. The 50 treasure chests could easily have been 125 tickets, which is 12 leagues. I'll take that. I'll take that. You could get the full set, yes. <laughs> full set is an option. How often that happens? Well, we'll just say we've been we've had Magic Online and played it in and out since its inception and have never opened a full set. So let's turn this 1-0 into a 5-0. Yeah. Let's do it. This hand's this hand's alright. F6, go. Eleven tickets at the time. Scalding Tarn, Bobble, so Murktide. Might lead with Ragavan. We kill Ragavan on sight against Murktide. They take a look at the top of our library. They're confused. They're like, this this person's a blue white mage player. They're like, why why are they so knightly? 
play that mountain they saw in past turn. It's scammed. Sometimes it is. Oz. Triomes. Rhinos, maybe? No, because they had Bobble. That could place Bobble in, in this. I'm about to find out. Ah, yes. Good old Ren and Six. I'm going to go ahead and hit it. If I top deck Ragavan or a Stomp or something, I guess I can mess with the Ren and Six here. Nope. F6. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ah. Got to play those Eidolons. Now F6. Dominaria. Dominaria, I'm pretty sure. Screaming bird avatar means creativity. Yeah, maybe. Squawk Ward Fearless Fledgling versus Balance. I'm so majestic over here. All right, well, let's see how, how much Blood Moon wrecks our opponent. We could squee. This is how much I think squee is worth. Blood Moon first. Then maybe Squee to take down the, the Ren and Six. They have Unholy Eats. Gets an island. There we go. All right. Well, we got something. Perhaps I play Squee here to attack Ren and Six. It's going to only be at three. Squee might do something that no one else was aware of that it could do. Now... They could just pick up Scalding Tarn, and then at that point, there is nothing. It doesn't matter if I kill this, but we can give Squee a chance to shine. And we are going to. Good luck, Squee. Show us you're worth it. Who's ready for them to Prismatic Ending, or not, Prismari Command this? Make a treasure? Indomitable Creativity? Oh, we got to attack. We got to attack. Squee has done something. Squee! You did it! You did it, Squee! We know they have unholy heats and probably bolts, but you did it! Oh. What am I playing against? Ah, Squee got hit, killed. You're dead, Squee. You're dead, Squee. The heck am I playing against? At least I have a cool token. It, this is a pretty, a pretty cool token. Not gonna, not gonna lie. Damage him. Is the breadwinner tonight, Squee? Squee's about to dunk on Archon. Well, we're definitely not playing Archon. Squee's OP. Seismic Assault. At least three colors. So this is probably for life from the loam. Using Bobbles and Ren and Sixes. And Otherworldly Gazes. I want to hold on to Spike Field in case they play, like, Ragavan. But... Maybe they don't. Okay. Shoot Chandra. Oh my gosh. Is Squee going to be the mastermind here? Oh my gosh. Let's go, Squee. We're ready, Squee. I get to replay Squee over and over and over. Oh my gosh. Squee round two. Will they let Squee attack? They do. Oh my gosh. Squee is legendary, which means I can pay cheaper for Sokinson. Otherworldly gazes again. I can't. I can't even believe it. Rabble Master would be garbage here, but Squee challenges them. And I say that 
kind of mockingly, we know they have a million dislike lands in this version of their list. We know that to be true. I'm going to do this instead of oops, playing Chandra, because when I play Chandra, I want to be able to uptick immediately. So this is two damage, and I don't have to like try to do Chandra uptick mana and then attack with the tokens. So I get to just do this and put him to one. And they have four cards, a fifth card coming. I don't see any way this is comboing and killing me here. Looks like we're good. Seismic Assault, what we want to name with a Pithy Needle. I see a Tarmogoyf over here too. So Relics, Pithy Needles, maybe Pillages. No, we don't want to loan them any lands. No lands for them. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm really tempted to take the Blood Moons out, but they're probably pretty good here. This is where Leyline of Combustion would be great, everyone. Do I even care about the Relics? I think it's just Pithy Needle. I think it'll maybe a pair of pillages here. You know what? Just pithy needle. This this is it. And we're gonna put it right. We're gonna put it right between the squeeze, because we're gonna draw those. I'm not even gonna worry about the graveyard. I don't care if they keep picking up stuff from the graveyard. Who cares? Who cares about Tarmogoyf? No one cares to try to beat Tarmogoyf. We're just going to run so many creatures into Tarmogoyf, it's not going to matter. Who cares? Turn one, Seismic Assault, Pithy Needle. Turn two, Blood Moon. How? We cheated. That's how we win. That's it. That's how we win. The cheats. Mono Red Scam. All right, all right, all right. You all convinced me. No, I can't make the change. Too late. Well, I gotta keep it. We have a Fury to get rid of Brennan Six. Got Bolts to get rid of other pesky things. Dens of Bugbearers and stuff like that. Hand looks actually decent against them. We'll see what happens. Scalding Tarn. You got it, opponent. Let's lead with Den of the Bugbear. If I draw one more land, I may hold Spike Field Hazard for after Blood Moon. Let's see if they get that island or that triome. Dang it. Why would you get the island? What? What? You can't cast Ren and Six off that. All right. We missed the land. I unfortunately miss being able to play my Eidolon here too, but I think it's a small price to pay right now. How many counters do we think they have? Are, are... Look at all these basics they're getting. Look at all these basics. Maybe I'm playing Eidolon first. <laughs> I mean, they're so far away from Seismic at this point. All the counters? Oh. I don't like hearing that. Look, it's Slowgurk. It's Slowgurk. All right, I got to read this dumb card because I never remember what it does. I know it's an ooze. All right, whenever land is put into your graveyard, it gets a counter. Remove three. When, the ba when this leaves the battlefield, return up to three target land cards from your graveyard to your hand. All right, so I want that dead. It's just going to return these lands anyway. So I'll kill it. And then we'll like Blood Moon or something. Now they gotta go clean up step and they probably just discard one of those lands anyway. So got two lands. Look at how powerful that was. Okay, we'll jam a blood moon here, past turn. 
I'd like to hard cast the Furies. That is the end goal here. I'm hoping for a top deck land, Chandra Eidolon. Not going to worry about putting a second Blood Moon into play. Dang it. Look, it's Slow Gurk. Let's make some dudes. <laughs> what are, what are lands? What are what are lands? Ooh. All right, we're going to be patient here. I think Yeah, from Battlefield. I'm like, Seismic Assault ditched some stuff. That would be bad, but it's from. it says from Battlefield. Oh, no. Whenever a card is put into Graveyard from anywhere, this grows. When it leaves... It, gosh, there's so much text on this. It says Trample, too. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take three. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Besage you, fetch, fetch. Do it. All right, Forgotten Cave. Grows to a 4-4. Four, four. Ouch. Ouchies. Ren and six. Picks up the Forgotten Cave. Can grow this again if they would like. And we hit a land. I'm going to cast a Fury here. This will offer to kill Slogurk. Slogurk will probably pitch the Forgotten Cave, in which case I'll then Fury and get rid of this Chandra, I believe. We'll see. We'll see. But then it should be like one and three. But I might do two and two to be really safe. Because I think this Chandra can win us the game based on my opponent doing damage. We're going to go two and two here just to be really safe that they don't have something that throws away land that I'm not aware of. They pick up two. They'd be picking up more lands anyway if I leave Ren and Six here. So now we'll split Season Pyromancer and two Elemental Tokens. Okay. Divide and conquer. <clears throat> now my opponent tries to remove my creatures by damage typically, and this is why we're holding this Fire Artisan over playing the Chandra Torch of Defiance next. My theory here is that the Chandra going up to five and an attack should seal the deal. But maybe they have ways to gain life. Who knows? That's my theory. If they get rid of Blood Moon, it opens up Den of the Bugbear so I can start attacking. We have Ramming Out Ruins as well, so those are good cards as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like it's going to be... They have to block Fury. I go in for four... That puts them to nine. Chandra goes up to five. And then we have a gap of four damage that we just have to find. I think that'll be attainable. Bolt's Fury. Okay. Can, can play Seismic. They uh, have plenty of mana to do so. Plays a Tarmogoyf. Okay. We can manage that. This is uh, easy, still play Chandra Fire Artisan, probably just sit there now and defend it. That's not a bad card. Let's cast that getting rid of Darcy. That'll potentially grow, and I, I don't I don't need that to grow. I don't need that to grow. <laughs> Let's see if she resolves. I had the spell appears. All right, so neither Chandra was going to resolve. We'll pass turn. Tarmogoyf is going to be difficult for us to kill. 
Don't play another slow gurk. That'll be your third slow gurk. Oh my gosh. It's slow gurk number three. We'll take our four this time. What do I need? I have one Fury left. I have some Chandra Torch of Defiance. This will work. Dig. Dig, dig, dig. Okay. Bolt Slow Gurk. I forgot they had Forgotten Cave. Might have, might have forgotten that. Oh well, send him. What's up, Mr. McChillin? Red is going. That is, that is what it's doing. How you doing? All right, so trampoline and something I can chump block here, hopefully. Seismic, kill this swing team. Throw another land. Okay, well, they gave me an opportunity to block. I'm definitely taking that. Am I just dead here to slow gurk here? I mean, this had trample. I block over here. This gets me for a bunch. Six, eight, one more land. You got it. All right. So many gurks. So many gurks. I really hate bringing in Relic for this matchup. Sixty-one card special, one Relic, one less Tor brand. Let's go. If Slow Gurk and Fast Gurk had a baby, it would be just Gurk. It depends, right? Which uh, traits would it inherit? If it gets equal ratios, it'd be even. Sounds good. All right, let's play first. Do we rely all on the Ragavan? No. Why Why would we when we can have zero lands? Okay, keep. Well. This might be how it all ends. This might be how it all ends here. Pillage is definitely an option for the, the lands, absolutely. You're not wrong. Gonna play this Eidolon. Fetch basic opponent. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Run six. They don't have blue yet. Bolt's Eidolon. All right. I think I'm just jamming Bone Crusher Giant. Just kidding. Just kidding. The reach is nice with Bone Crusher Giant. Let's give Squee a chance to shine again. In for three. Here we go. Good old Squee. <laughs> it's going to have to take on Slow Gurk here in a second. I'm, I'm sure of it. I can feel it. Although it might be a fetch shock to do this. That'd be a lot of damage. No, Squee can't be broken. Uh, here, I would probably prefer to have Rabble Master. Yeah, they could still remove Rabble Master, but they had green untapped. So they, they go and shoot Squee. Poor, poor Squee. Um, that's not a bad follow-up. Let's play our land and let's actually get Bone Crusher into play. Attack for one and pass turn. We're avoiding uh, Spell Pierce very well. Trying to put things into play that that hurt our opponent. If 
if all comes down to they like tap out, I could top deck land den of bun a bugbear here. Opponent fetches trial island. Oh yes, of course I forgot. Playing around blood moon till the end of time. Look at the value we got out of Squee. I guess. I guess. There's slow Gurk. Ooh, no follow up land. Oh, I have a chance to kill slow Gurk. Wow, no follow up land. I can hit for five. I lose season Pyromancer if I do that. I get an extra card in the graveyard, getting us closer to Squee. I hit for five, putting them to eight. They get these back, seven technically with that. Ugh. Mm. I could also season Pyromancer, hit Fury plus red card or Bolt. Suspect, I don't get a choice. I, I ditch Fury first. And then Slow Gurk's in my way. I think I kill uh I think I kill Slow Gurk here. I think this card we're putting enough pressure on. They get some lands here. But the Fury fuels the Squee, and I hit for five, and if they have to attack the Bone Crusher Giant here, that's an additional two. Top deck land, and I get to Denna the Bugbear. This doesn't feel like the worst place to be. It looks like my opponent's going to be at six after this. It's a bobble. And again, we know they have a land. They're probably going to six. They take a look at the top of the cards of our library. I think they did. No, they targeted themselves. Fetches. Basic mountain, obviously. Blood braid elf. This could be bad. Finds Ren in six. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, they're not attacking. That's obvious. I would ping off the goblin token if I were them. You picked up a fetch land. This is no attack territory for them. Top of the library for us is Spikefield Hazard. I wonder if there is any world, any world where they block the goblin token instead of Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, not that land. <laughs> well, if I send both, I lose Bone Crusher Giant. And by losing Bone Crusher Giant, I kind of lose potentially two if they have to ever shoot it. I don't think they ever will. My opponent is potentially fetching here. Fetch puts him to five. Spikefield puts him to four. Den of the Bugbear or Squee is almost playable at that point. Ren six down ticks on the Goblin token. Uh, I think I'll attack, but I'm, I'm I don't know. If they block here, then we get to Spikefield, and it's like crazy good, but there's no way. They trade here. But I'll I'll take it. I'll Spikefield them. Send just token? We could have. We did get rid of the Blood Braid so that when I fire this off, if I miss land, I can squee. They're fetching, potentially, so that would put them to four, and our board state right now would kill them. With a with a squee down here. No, I don't think Brocking for the trade is potentially right. I think every little bit of damage counts here. They do not shock in a steam vents. That was pretty obvious. Plays a Darcy. It's a three three. Picks up a land. A bolt off the top wins this. Dragon Rage Channeler is now a 1-1. One, one. 
which is kind of interesting. Now do I shoot that and do squee? Oh, oh, hold on. We're going to get more information. Okay. A sorcery is not down there. If they... All right. Now I do this. There's only instants down here, so if they go to counter this, they'd have to top deck something to grow this, and if this is dead, then I can squee. Life from the Loam just goes to the graveyard. Four types. Oh my gosh, Squee is going to do it. I'm going to go Squee here. Squee is a, a kill. Eidolon is not quite a kill. Oh my gosh. Well, if you're playing against Seismic, Assault, Loam, Slogurk, Squee might be your answer. Squee might be your answer. Idle on there, attack one, puts them to two, and everything we have except Blood Braid would take two. We're drawing a Ragavan. It's hard to say that the idol on there wouldn't have done enough there as well, but we'll take it 2-0. Let's keep rolling. Playing this uh, dumb squee guy. Thinking he's Tassiger or something. It was, a, it was a fun game. So It was a fun game, a close game, very interesting game. Uh, I like it. Let's play first. Let's just keep a hand that does nothing. <laughs> it interacts. It's got a bolt. Let's... let's Let's be careful here. It's it's not nothing. It's something. I'm more happy to see three lands than I am anything else. Lands have just been impossible for us to find. Insta dead. Eidolon. Ragavan's great. Dash dash. Is it Yogmoth round two? Who knows? Show me a thought, Seize. Blooming Marsh. Pass turn. Like Squee more than the other two Rabbles. Ugh. Well, Blood Moon is going to be decent here. We'll just see how decent. Blood Moon away. Go, opponent. Good luck. Yogmoth round two. Got to beat Yogmoth again. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, my gosh. They have a second forest. Hold. Opponent. Winning the game pretty much can't be beat. Excuse me, opponent. Excuse me, opponent. You are not allowed to play such things as that. Therefore, we must eliminate them for you. That is cheating when you play cards that are not Yawgmoth. Clear the board. Let's go. Thanks, Torbran. Thought they were going to avoid a uh, four damage spell, did ya? Did ya? Look at this, man. Ragavan clocks in here for four damage. Heck yeah. Thunk. It's not a red card. Got past the turn. <laughs> I thought about playing Young Wolf there. I thought about it. Sure. They hurt me. They besaged. How dare they? Sokens and tokens are colorless. Yep. The one non synergy in this list. Uh-oh. Grist. Land. Makes a dude. Goes over an endurance. Oh my gosh, it's freaking squee. <laughs> Everyone see the line? Everyone... Everyone see the line? Oh my gosh. It's going to be freaking King Squee here soon. 
Everyone's going to be chanting in chat about the powers that be squee. Squee makes plenty of damage here, making lethal with a uh, Torbran. <laughs> Gosh, squee, just get out of here. Get out of here, squee. Yeah, yeah, squee. I mean, I took Squee out for this matchup, and we did win it. Squee's been um, showing the world what to do, though. Gosh, I can't. Ragavan's like iffy in this matchup. Squee is iffy because they have creatures. They're going to have blockers. They have undying creatures and things like that. That can't it can't be the right play here. They have Sh Shieldred as well, so that's something that's a 4-5, right? What's up, Spider? I'm I'm losing my mind. I can't believe this card's actually doing work. It just makes me makes me kind of like die inside. You're <laughs> losing your mind too. It's really upsetting me. <laughs> like really upsetting me. Let's take two ragavans out. I am on the draw. Actually, let's take all the ragavans out. I'm on I'm on the draw. Let's get these cards in here. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do? Play basics? Yeah, Squeeze been Squeeze been good. Uh no, we we added some planeswalkers. You can play Leyline if you want. I I think the Leyline list is more of a fun joke meme and can be very powerful and very hard for specific lists to overcome. In your meta, if you have a lot of stuff that targets you, send it. All right. I'm going to keep kind of an iffy hand here. I don't believe I can win game two very easily. Uh, we'll give it a shot, though. We can kill stuff like this. I uh, don't mind shooting it immediately. That's the goal here. Got a couple of Eidolons, too. Definitely some good, uh, good damaging cards, but we'll see. We'll see. They could get the second force for all I care here. Yep. Blood Moon looking bad. Attack for two. You got it. That's an interesting card. Let's leave the idol on first, though. We'll uh we'll get to the relic a little later. I'm sure they have a Besageum. <laughs> Think I've single-handedly made you five point five ticks on it? Wow, look at all these basics my opponent has. They're so perfect. All right. Yogmoth, right? Yogmoth this time, right? Oh my gosh. Look who it is. Well, I'll block. I have to deal with this card again? It's funny because drawing is a pain here. I'm going to create a blocker and pass. This is four or five is exceedingly difficult for us to kill. Furies do not kill it very well. Let's just say that. I'm going to block again. We're just strictly trying to buy myself time to be able to Chandra plus Bone Crusher or something here. Oh my gosh. It's Haptra. That might need to die now. Fun synergy, right? All right, let's put some blockers up. Put some blockers up. Need a chump block here. I've got Chandra, Bone Crusher Giant. I'm taking quite a bit of damage here. I think my opponent might have me this game. This opponent is much, much better suited for Blood Moon than I've seen like ever in the past from Yogmoth. Right. Just gonna concede to that. Yogmoth, too much, can't handle. 
All right, Ragavan's back in game on the play. Man, I don't know. Shieldred is just... That's a problem card for us. Let's take out the Dress to Kills. Take Fire Artisan out. Maybe just do two relics. I'm gonna be more aggressive here. Same reason Narset is. Ah, uh, Blood Moon is still good because I can turn to it. There's no reason for me to cut it. It's still good in the matchup. Remember, they still have to have their fetch lands. Kind of want to ditch a relic here. Keep it at 60. Keep the Tor brands maximized here. We're on the play. That's why the difference in the sideboard there. What if I just name in the dark Burden Catacombs? They had Windswept Heath too. Pole. Verdant Catacombs or Windswept Heath in the dark. This is where we have, this is where we've arrived tonight. Name the Yog? No. No. Verdant Catacombs. Let's do it. In the dark. <laughs> They've got Besage you. I could name Besage you. Look at this. They're really thinking. They're like, wow, I got this cover. Four Verdant Catacombs. Easiest game of my life. Here we go. What is that doing there? Huh? Huh? What just happened? What, what just happened? Why do they have a basic forest and no fetch? Huh? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But we're just not going to play fetches. I understand. I'm not going to block. I'm not going to block. This is a race opponent. Let's go. Who needs a fetch? Not our opponent. Here they go. Prepping Torbran here. I'm ready for that Shieldred. Do it. Do it. Do it. I'm ready. Uh, Karn Silex really didn't do a whole lot for us. Gets a Grist. They've gotten Shieldred like every time and they get a Grist this time. I'm somewhat frustrated at that. <laughs> All right, Chandra down tick on this ignoble, I think, is probably the line. Because they haven't had the mana. We'll pass turn defending here, I think. They know I'm playing Chandra next. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. There's an ignoble. Chandra dies here. Opponent attacks, giving me the option to keep Chandra. We'll keep. I'll happily keep there. Now they sacrifice. Sacrifice insect token, kill Chandra. We're looking for a fury off the top.
I think. I think I'm killing the ignoble. I think we killed the ignoble here because they haven't played a land. They kept they kept a hand with two basics. That's what they did. And that's what they're just going to ride to their victory on is what they're thinking. I'm looking for fury or just some spot removal. Um, Gris can kill Chandra, obviously. That's an interesting card. Squee is kind of interesting. I wonder if I relic though, relic and then play something. Get a removal spell would be really good. I don't, but I get a second Torbran. Let's jam first Torbran. This may encourage Grist. <clears throat> I don't want to attack, I think, with Squee there. Young Wolf. Now they can sacrifice Young Wolf here and kill Torbran. That also helps Haptra, right? No, this uh, just reduces one of these. This makes a snake, right? A death touch. Otherwise, Squee would get around this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So Torbran plus Ragavan pass, hoping to top deck that Fury. Upticks makes an insect token. We have a Death Touch snake token that I have to be worried about. Besager's played. But I had the Besager for the Pithy Needle. Has the Outland Liberator as well. Goes no combat. It's a good draw. I feel like it's Bone Crusher kill Grist. Defend with it. I don't think I can leave Grist there. Fortunately, it's four damage. Be a lot better to be using it in a different fashion there. I don't know if this is enough though. Block here, block here, block here. One, two, three, four right now. Oh yeah, we need the Fury. If this is another Grist, I think I just lose. Evolution Outlander for Yogmoth. Yogmoth uses Young Wolf and Strangle Root. Back forth, back forth. Finally make this a three, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not gonna make my opponent do this. Or wait, they have 11. And if they target with ability, hold on. Let them do some things. Target a spell, that's right. Four, five, six, seven. They have enough health here. All right. Opponent gets us. They got us with the two lands. Pithy Needle naming Grist would perhaps have been better. We went for the Verdant Catacombs because they were always fetching the basics. They did eventually draw Beseju, so I don't think that Pithy Needle was there for long. Plus, they had the Outland Liberator. I had them at the two lands. I feel like we really had a good shot, and we just really weren't drawing the parts of the library that we needed. They had just enough blockers. That 3-2 Geist also kind of messed us up for a while. Yeah, we needed, well, I needed one of my bolts, Bone Crushers, or the Furies, or the, even the Light Up the Night. I needed any of those removal pieces, and then we could have probably gotten rid of them. Even even Spike Field Hazard would have helped to get rid of the O1 uh, uh, Hierarchs there. That would, have, that would have worked as well. 
We tried the Pithy Needle. We tried to take them off the lands. They had the two basics. We kept them off the third land by killing all their creatures that produced mana. But to no avail. Didn't get there. Drew too many Tor brands at the end of the day. All right. We're 2-1. Opponents 1-0. We got the dice roll. We'll keep this hand. And we'll see what happens. Our turn three looks to be our first play. We'll lead with Spike Field and pass turn. <clears throat> Black Leaf Glyphs. There's a Fury. Opponent's going to save the Fury. We're going to kill the Fury. It can be a little derpy, but I, I think it'll be okay here. I think it'll be okay here. And I'm just going to go two here. Just kill it now. Saves us eight damage coming across our face. Yeah, if we save the hazard there, it would have been really good. Oh, well. Croaks, uh, gonna get rid of Torbran here. I'm going to pass the turn. I'm gonna try to get this Chandra down rather than season Pyromancer for one token. Opponent's got two lands here. They're not getting Croaksa here. They don't have enough cards in the graveyard. Could be a dash monkey. This looks fine though. So they lose the rest of their hand, get two fresh cards. It was two lightning bolts. Hmm. Two lightning bolts. Not gonna lie, that's that's a lot of damage they are missing out on. Play Chandra still into this, I believe. We'll go up for damage past turn. I have a feeling they can kill this Chandra, but if I can't, and Season Pyromancer blocks nicely. Potentially with Sokin's in. Chandra to two. And K commands to finish that out. Putting. They put Fury back into hand. Kind of sucks. Fury is going to be tough for us to beat. All right. Season Pyromancer. Pitch our Season Pyromancer. Find ourselves. Okay. Light up the night is actually a good way to get rid of a Fury. Then the bugbear is a little slow, but Fury is going to get killed here. That's good for us. They're going to wipe our board. That's fine. Four, four. One card for them. Hopefully it's not a land. <laughs> Hits us for four. All of this is manageable. Ooh. Getting excited. All right. X equals three. That kills Fury. As long as they don't have another... Well, I guess they can't have an Undying one, right? Nice. Okay. It is... If they top deck a land, though, they get to Kroxa from the graveyard... Voidwalker doesn't get me, but that would just kill Chandra. Maybe my opponent will ignore Chandra. Three, four, five, six. I'm going to play Chandra, see if I can find a land. I'm kind of hoping they just ignore Chandra. Let her go up to six. <laughs> Miss on a land, pass turn. I mean, if they send five there, they send five there.
All right, opponent found the land, gets to play Kroxa here. They're at 15, I can do 12 to them. So I've top deck Bolt and they ignore Chandra, we can kill them. I doubt they play that Eidolon for the uh, Void Walker. Send it all at me. Send it all at me. Send it all. Give me an out. Give me an out. Send it all at me. Send it. No, don't send it here. All right. Well, we gain five. Game five, they take five, ten to nine, but they got this. Um. Yeah, I think that's game. Chump here, chump here, take three, four, five. And then I just repeat. Perfect draw. Perfect draw. Yeah. Okay, scam list. Um, it's probably just four relics for four blood moons. Probably it. I don't want to bring Torpor in. They Torpor. <laughs> oh, Royal and Vortex. That's right. That's what we do. And take out one Torbrand and something else. The hero returns. The hero returns. Blood Moon can get this list. I'm not feeling too confident that would work, but it can. I gotta just lead with Ragavan and go. They do, but a lot of the problem cards are like the Griefs and the Void, uh, what was the Void Walkers? It's not so much all the red cards they play. So if you can just make everything red, we can kind of like fight back and forth. But when you play the the black cards, it it gets tough. We'll see here what they do. I could see them going after my hand here. I could see them just shooting the Ragaban. It's a lot of things. Oh, Lord Magicus, what's up? All right, they get rid of the two removals here and probably keep themselves a 4-3. How goes it? Thanks for the raid. Four three here takes both bolts. I play Eidolon. We sit here for a long time. Hope they don't rinse repeat this with a fury, because if they do that, we can just go to match four, match five, match six, match whatever. All right. Pass turn. Can't send Ragavan in. Grief would kill the poor Ragavan. If I ever had a take five, I don't think so. Please, no fury here. Okay, their own Ragavan. I must try it. I don't feel like double blocking here. Okay, blocking could be interesting now. <laughs> Let's offer Ragavan here as a trade. Okay. Oh my gosh, they're gonna save Ragavan. They're gonna save this monkey. Of course they are. Monkey's broken. All right, we just need a top deck land. We give her the grief, hopefully. Eidolon's blocking Ragavan. I'm taking four, I'm going to 10, then down to nine. They can't really play any more of their free spells here, which is my, my hope here. We need a land. Land me, land me. Thank you. Do they, do they have a save for, for grief here? Nice. All right, we have a Roiling Vortex in against the scam list, 
And they only have two land, three lands, four lands, seven lands. They shocked in. Royaling, land, K command, two here, discard. You got it, opponent. In the event that that would have been Squee, that would have been an incredible discard and then launch at them. But it wasn't. Okay, opponent's at 11. I'm at 8. There we go. This time I have a response, oh opponent, that's trying to kill me very quickly. They picked up a Ragavan. I'm going to attack with one of these, I think. Or do I need to attack with both? Now nah, I've got to defend from Ragavan, I think. <laughs> I don't know about that, Oz. Croxa, we take three here, go to four. Now it's looking dicey. Ragavans, if they have a bolt, I'm, I'm very dead here. Well, they have four. They have four lands here, so Crox is showing up. I'm gonna attack with one spirit token. We can't play it, we lose to the Crox in the yard. I need to attack. I need them to just bounce off my spirit token or whatever. They block here, okay. But now I have a six six to deal with and they're at eight. They're at seven. And I don't have five lands yet. I think Vortex is going to kill us. It slowed the game down. Um, the K command killing Chandra probably saved them. Oh my gosh, it's Squee. You're too late, Squee. You're too late. Thanks, Clark. We're not doing so hot tonight. We're going to see if we can snag a 3-2 here in, in match four. Not doing so hot, but we have in the past. This is for Squee. Keep the one lander for Squee. Man, we hit two top deck lands. This, this hand is this hand's some fire. Can we can we throw the league away? Keep the one lander with Ragavan. Squeeze free, but so are losses. Yep. Ragavan will get us tokens. Exactly. We have Almighty Squee leading us. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do the the unthinkable here. Opponent mulls to five. Maybe, maybe it's Tron. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. But maybe, maybe they did what we're doing and we're all on one land all together. Maybe we're all together on one land well, I'm on two now. I'm going to fury away the Torbran because it's the most expensive thing here. We're going to keep the Blood Moon because it might matter. I see a den. That doesn't mean they're mono red. That could, though, you know. 
Then jam Eidolon. We're going to work our way up to Chandra. Turn off auto yields in case it's a bolt. Oh, it's a thought seize. It's a thought seize. I'm gonna go for it. I take a lot of damage to do this. <laughs> Racto scam? Is that what we're playing against? I don't really know. I I don't know. Let's do pillages this time. Does kind of feel like a Racto scam. We'll do pillages and Royal and Vortexes this time and no relics. Just getting one relic. Woo! Two relics, 61 card special. I brought two, two, and two in from the sideboard because they didn't give us much information. That was a uh, Ragavan with one land. Not recommended. It's a lot of Chandra's. Yeah, actually, this is it's not enough. Not enough, Clark. All, all, all the Chandra's are wow, no lands. Uh. I'm getting rid of Fury. I have a couple removals. I have plenty of lands this time. All right, thoughts he's away, opponent. You got it. I don't know what you're doing. That's fine. We're just here to play a good casual game of magic. They take my lightning bolt. How dare they? Not enough goblins. Well, this has quite a few goblins in it. Okay, we can deal with that card. X equals one, Void Walker. Goodbye. Keep playing Magic, Fluffy. Keep playing it. Got another one for us, opponent. Light up the Exile. Den of the Bugbear sideways. Uh, I like a Chandra, so I'm actually going to go ahead and play Eidolon. Plan to play Chandra, then Season Pyromancer. Chandra feels like a, a winning card here. Terminates. Goodbye, Eidolon. Their move. We're moving fast. We're only one minute in this game. We're up a game. Or one minute in this match, we're only up a game. In comes Ragavan. Plop. <laughs> Dang it. They stole our Ragavan. How dare they? Would they like to play my Ragavan? Keep a Ragavan on the battlefield? Please don't cast it. I don't know. I think they actually should. Blood Crypt sideways. We have a Den of the Bugbear. Come in here. Let's play Chandra. See if I can get another land. Not off this Chandra, but um, after this top deck. It's a Roiling Vortex. That hurt us last time. If I hit a land, I get to uh, yeah, idle on then season Pyromancer, which isn't bad. It's, it's not bad. It's not great. Castle for my opponent. Ragavan, two unknowns. Boots up Den of the Bugbear, so they're not dashing monkey. Hits R Chandra for four. Okay. <laughs> Ragavan hitting pillage. <sighs> what a great feeling, right? <laughs> okay, opponent's at 12. Will they give me the uptick, or are they going to shoot this with a bolt? Bolts, one more. Okay. Is almost worth keeping in case they boot up Den of the Bugbear again. Let's go one turn here and see if we can't can't maybe get something here with this lightning bolt. It's Ragavan, two unknowns. The bolt going just upstairs is good value as well. 
and Eidolon makes casting or dashing Ragavan cost them cost them their life. Opponent terminates. I get that they dash Ragavan here. This feels like an e easy bolt. Easy bolt there. Saves it. They save it, of course. Well, throw away one ra a season pyromancer for another. Okay. This is some good blocking stuff. Opponents out of cards. Two damage upstairs. Squee showing up. Happy to block season pyromancer to Ragavan or the den of the bugbear. Also kind of happy to maybe just take most of the hits and uh, run everything back at their face. The hero squee is here. Opponent castles and takes two damage. Now we might just take the hit. They don't let us take the hit. <laughs> All right, let's attempt to kill Ragavan. This opens up fatal push for squee. The way it should be. Keeps Ragavan alive here, but it comes into play tapped. Gonna squee him. Gonna attack him. We're going to sit there with a Ramming Out Ruins. It's six damage. They need to block one of the two twos or the dead on board to the Ramming Out Ruins. Good luck, opponent. Going to make it a 3-2, I think. Kind of even all the way through on the two leagues tonight. 2-3 two, three, and 3-2. Three, I mean, I'm at 17. Weird things have happened. They find a bolt. Okay, I could go to... 11. I mean, if they were playing Chandra Fire Artisan and had Light Up the Knights, yeah, they could they could get out some serious damage, but, but they're not. They're not. Too bad, opponent. We get there. There we go. 3-2, second one around. There you go. Played some Squee. Squee was played. My change for this list, Torbran. Uh, maybe you keep the three Torbrands, drop one Chandra. I still like the Fire Artisan when you're playing these light ups. Maybe it's a Dress to Kill for an extra Fury. I think something like that might be okay. I'm not, like, sold on the Squee, personally. I think there were times that was definitely good. It was very good when we had the Torbran and were able to use the Squee. There was some continuous pressure that Squee does provide, but I feel like in a lot of cases, we were... A Rabble Master or a Legion War Boss would have done something similar. I wouldn't play more than two squeeze, maximum two. Maybe, maybe squeeze is it. We need to experiment more with the card. I'm biased. I don't like squee. I don't like the character squee. I don't like this squee. I guess I kind of like the other, um, the um, stained glass version of this squee. Maybe I can, you know, get behind that art. Do they have it online? Do they not have it online? There we go. Like this art's not bad. I, I can get, I would probably have to get behind this art playing it. I don't know, does this come in? Um, Non-foil. <laughs> that that would be that would be the squee I would I would need to be playing. This squee, I don't know. I mean, let, let's be honest. Rabble Master has a bunch of cool goblins behind him. Squee kind of just like I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what squee did. Anyway, 
It's a red Punisher list. It attacks. You can adjust the Planeswalkers. I think you could cut one Torbrand potentially. Chandra Dress to Kill, we added one. We didn't really see it this league, so I'm not convinced it was the best. You could probably change that for an extra Bone Crusher or something like that. Maybe another Squee if you're like really high on Squee. I would go with Extra Fury at least somewhere in here, though. Three doesn't feel right, not with what we ran into. Play the fourth one. I was wanting it a little more than than most. Oh, I don't think I've come around to Squee. Like, like part of me is just like, cut one Torbrand, cut two Squees, play extra Drondra. I would, I would probably rather do this or Acolyte of Flame than Squee personally. But maybe we'll play it a little more for people. <laughs> 